Yo, this is your boy Zemben YouTuber X, and I'm back with another video. Okay, guys, so I am over here in Lusaka, Zambia, and it's early in the morning. Right now, the time is 20 minutes to 8. Okay, I want to show you one development that's happening at this roundabout. Where I am at now is um, at this Ababa Drive. At this Ababa Drive, I want you to see that. That is a very interesting new construction being done at Addis Ababa Drive. Now, what is it that makes it so interesting? It is because Addis Ababa Drive roundabout, which is this roundabout, is home to the biggest banks in Zambia. Okay? Did you see the red um, sort of um, label over there? Yeah, the red label. The red label is the former Barclays Bank, which was bought by the South African Bank, ABSA. All right, that is the red label over there. That is their headquarters. Okay. Then over there, you see some blue and green marks on that top building over there. Can you see that? Right over there. Yo, now that bank is uh, the Standard Chartered Bank. The Standard Chartered Bank of, uh, I don't know, where are they from? I think they are Singapore, British, Canada. You? you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, there is another bank that is interesting over there, which you won't find on the high street. But it's a very, very big respect to a bank right over there. Yes, what I'm talking about, City Bank. Yo, that's City Bank. City Bank is uh, it's an American bank, actually. <laughs> that bank is really like big. You see what I mean? They do a lot of uh, interbanking, international interbanking maneuvers. You see what I mean? It's kind of like the smaller banks use City Bank. When they want to make international transactions, you see what I mean? Citibank is like a bank of banks, <laughs> kind of like a little short of being a central bank, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, in other words, they've got a lot of um, huge sums of money, you know what I'm saying? That's why they are a bank of banks. Some of the banks which are known to be big, big banks right here in Zambia, when they are trying to make payments, let's say to the United States. They make them through Citibank. You see what I mean? To ask me how I found that out, it was easy because, you know, I saw international payments being made and they were being made through Citibank. Okay, what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So now, uh, at Saba Roundabout, at Saba Drive Roundabout is getting a new look. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's getting the first look. First lift. First lifts are nice. I like first lifts. They just make, they bring up a whole new way of looking at things, you know? They bring up a whole new way of looking at life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you see, guys, this is that Sababa. Well, I'm just coming from my Sababa drive. This is not that Sababa drive. Where I am in now is, uh, is uh, en route to to a place called Long Acres. You see what I mean? I'm en route to Long Acres. You get what I'm saying? Ah, that guy is not driving his bike properly. Look at him. See the way he's driving. That's why these guys get bashed. You see what I mean? That's why these guys get bashed. How do you drive your bike in the middle of vehicles? You see what I mean? Okay, can we say 
bikers do not get training on traffic rules <laughs> so they just like you know fend for themselves but i think that i think that there needs to be introduced some form of you know traffic training for bikers because they don't get any traffic training they are always getting bashed you get what i'm saying so guys uh write for me a comment down okay do you think bikers should be getting like um, traffic training or maybe they should just do an online exam you see what i mean should bikers be doing an online exam in zambia okay write me a comment down below i want to know okay because i think that there should be some online exam which should be introduced where you know someone who just need to book and write the exam you know as long as they've got the webcam you know what i'm saying and you know they do the exam hey do you remember last time we did talk about this bang in here bang can you see that yeah. Here. Can you see that? Can you see that? Bang. You see? There is this guy. You see? There is there is a bicycle which just bypassed me. So I was forced to avoid the bicycle and just come and move on the side. Now imagine, imagine if I was running, if I was also riding a bicycle, my bicycle was going to hit into that. Bam. Guys, if you are a regular watcher of my videos, then you should remember that I did talk about that blind spot. I think I talked about that blind spot about, I don't know. If we go way back, way back, way back, I think it should be about two or three months ago. I talked about that blind spot that in this road <laughs> from at Sababa Drive roundabout to Long Acres, there is a place where someone, you know, did not. It's like they erected some structure, then destroyed it, then forgot, then forgot. To, rem to remove the dangerous metals from the ground so if you aren't looking properly and you are just walking fast you're gonna end up hurting yourself especially if you're not wearing shoes then my god I think you're gonna be in pain you know what I'm saying if you are like riding a bike and you happen to pass through that place over those metals then the tires are gonna puncture if you have a car and probably you just want to pack it in the night you know what i mean maybe something goes wrong and you just want to go by the side of the road the tires are going to get punctured you get what i'm saying i don't know who is responsible for clearing that place so please just write me a comment down below who is responsible in lusaka to look after pedestrians i don't know you know what I'm saying? Write for me down below, guys. And if you know someone who is responsible, probably talk to them and just tell them that, look, can you do something about that place which is just uh, in Addis Ababa Drive, opposite, it's opposite Mayfair Insurance, that one. There. It's Mayfair Insurance. That's the insurance company which is directly opposite the dangerous place. Okay? So guys, if you know someone who can assist the pedestrian, you know what I'm saying? Then probably just holler at them and let's see if they can do something. Okay guys. Guys, I wanna thank you for the 1000 subscribers. This YouTube channel now has got some life. You get what I'm saying? with 1,000 subscribers and we are working toward 2,000 so guys if you are subscribed 
subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell notification so that you get informed each time I upload a new video. You see, there are people who ride bicycles on this land. I just hope that they don't ride over those protruding metals, the ash, saw that side. And <laughs> if they do that, then their tires are going to get punctured. Okay. So guys, I'm out of here. Till next time, guys. Till next time. Take care. Okay.